pile of tools over here. Back up. All right, so there. Okay then. And we'll put the no, not yet. Gotta put this other manifold on the other side here. So we can start getting parts back out. These need to be in a better container. What have we got? Not the best mold job. Well, there's a, it's not a, it's like it's sunk in there. And then there's a big hole there that's going to be, I don't know if that gets covered up or not. Yeah, no, I don't see that that gets covered up. You know, there's a giant hole in the back of the manifold. Uh, we'll look at it once we get the other stuff in there. Let me clean this up here. Still suffering from that early mistake of priming parts individually. goes there and into where or to water pump where's the water pump water pump is there no way in hell that goes there it won't reach that water pump is dead on the money that just doesn't fit this has got a post, but there's no hole. Then there's this giant hole here. I may need to remake that one. If I put an extension on this, that would get it there. See how that'll fit. Yeah, now we're on the money. I'm using the spray for this one. I can reach it. We cannot touch it. That's like a flood, though, when you need a very minute little bit. That'd be a better way to do that than that or that. Somewhere in between that. Like a dropper bottle. How about that? There's an idea. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm. How do we make that stay? CA glue it on there, maybe? Use the thing to fix the thing? Okay. Yeah, that's clear. And the first time you run accelerator through it, it should just do its thing. We're not going to put a lot in here. About that much. That stuff is really has a like almost negative surface tension. It, I believe that stuff would flow uphill if it was given a chance. So we'll go to where it starts to get bigger. Or about there. Magnificent. We get to test out our first ever CA kicker dispenser precision dispenser there we go whoa okay uh, so requires a little practice there so you tell me that in no way would is ever going to reach that. Ever. See if I can find a bit of screw that's not, you know, oval shaped. So now we've done that. The piece I want's in the middle of there. So I need to trim it out. So now I want to cut it slightly proud of that area. Okay. And then we'll sand to it. Oh, I've marked my, oh, there it is. There's my mark. All right. Hold still. Hold still. Not perfect. Not perfect at all. But I think I can fix that. So the engine needs to be we're coming be completed before it goes into the frame. So we're going to uh, completely finish out the engine. It's going to be um, weathered going to do the weathering treatment on the manifold, do the grease and the grime on there, and yeah, and all that stuff. We've got the, uh, the engine complete, the uh, U-joint and the fan have still lacked to go on, but we're going to 
we're going to paint those uh, before they do. The engine's done, uh, primed, everything's covered. I'm not finding, the, except around a couple of the places where it's going to need to be glued down, I'm not finding any yellow anywhere, so I'm very happy with that. Um, going to do a little more detail work, and then uh, we're going to get this thing green, painted green that is, with the bulldozer green. All right, let's try a different tact. I actually put a pin in the pin vise. Looks a little better. Okay.
there. Then it'll bend up. there. So we're back to the engine. We're starting out with a, it's not much, it's more of a, I'm gonna call it a filter. It's the green with um, some additional of the Vallejo washes and a little bit of light rust. This is an actual, this is actually rust. Um, it's a formula I picked up from, I'm not sure, sure how he pronounces the, his channel but it's like HPI guy uh, does a lot of models uh, it's uh, uh, steel and uh, hydrogen peroxide and salt in a process that I'll, I'll go through at some point and uh, show you that but uh, this is just adding a little contrast to different places no need to be delicate with it. I'm just going to slather it on unevenly on purpose so that it uh, gathers and collects in the corners and the crevices. So we're going to go a little bit darker. See, we're getting that's probably a couple of shades darker actually, and I actually want to thin that out some more. So, the idea is paint uh, pigment is actually little teeny tiny particles of plastic, and this is why they settle out, they're heavier than the liquid they're in, and they'll settle out to the bottom. Here we want to encourage that, uh, but at a much faster rate. So we want it to settle out into the little nooks and crannies and stuff on the uh, on the kit, on the model, on the model, on the engine. Yeah. So let's go again. Maybe not quite as heavy this time. camera I've probably got my big old hand over top of it what you're trying to look at okay yeah. I need to clean that up
Yeah. I'm digging it. Next, we're going to do the rust effects on the exhaust manifold. Let's go with... We want red. Brown. Over here. Okay. Red and brown. Where's it at? That's the color I'm looking for. So that would be like equal parts brown, red, and yellow. still all right all right it needs to be a little wider again okay now just straight up wash I got a little bit right there. Fine brush. I think that's it. The exhaust sheet is done. Not 100% dry, but... It's a little crappy looking on top there. I don't know I've mentioned this in the past, but video is an excellent way to check the quality of your work. Like, down under there, that looks all pretty good there. I like that. I like the way it looks. looks pretty natural, the way uh, grime and dirt would collect on a surface. Uh, the rust job could is a little you know use a little help but that up on top there that looks horrible looking let's see how can we fix that well, let's go back whoa come back here let's see what this does for us that tone it down some i believe it does Lay that all on there. I'm not falling to that spot right there as much. All right, so there. To uh, critique my own work, I like the um, uh, the mud and grime treatment I've got on here. I think that looks really nice. The uh, exhaust manifold. The while the color, I like the color a lot. The paint went on a little too. Went on a li it went on a lot too thick. So I think we lost some of the uh, the texture there of uh, of a uh, cast steel. For, uh, for the exhaust manifold. But uh, all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah. Next step, um, frame. Get the, and the, do some more, uh, do some more painting. 